Welcome back to Crushable. I'm Drew, not a beer expert, but I have drank beer on three different continents. Uh, like I said in the last video, today we are going to talk about this classic ales box, which I got at Lidl, which is similar to Audi uh, in Germany. You can buy beer at the grocery store, and this is a collection of British ales, and it was $6.99. I've drank five of the six beers so far. I'll just give you a quick rundown. Starting from the left, we have McEwen's Levy by Eagle Brewing out of Bedford. It's a Scottish ale coming in at only 3.2%. That's a little light for me. Uh, if I'm drinking 3.2% beer, I guess I can go to church afterwards. <laughs> but uh, I, it was okay. Uh, it was a little bit darker in color. I gave it a 2.75 out of 5 on Untapped. Next, we have Bombardier, also from Eagle Brewery in Bedford, England. This was a best bitter English ale. Uh, came in at 4.1%. Now we're getting respectable. You know, at least we're in middle light territory. Uh, I gave that a 3.75 out of... I, I like bitters normally uh, when they have a little bit more flavor. And this one hit the mark. Then we have uh, Cumberland, which is a gold nail by Jennings Brewery out of Cockermouth, England. Uh, such great names. Uh, it's an, uh, I found it a little bit harsh. Uh, I came in at about 4% and I gave it a 2.5. You know, we're not going to pour it down the drain, but uh, we probably won't buy it again. Next we have Razorback from Ringwood Brewery out of Hampshire, England. Uh, it's a session bitter, 3.6%. I gave this a 2.25. Again, with that low ABV, uh, it just wasn't hitting the mark. Kind of watery, especially because it was a session. Next up is Hobgoblin Ruby Ale out of Witchwood, and they're out of Whitney, England. This is the second time I've had a beer from Witchwood. They have a whole line of their Hobgoblin series. I've tried their IPA, and now I'm on to their Ruby. It's a brown ale, but they call it Ruby. This one is 5.2%. Uh, that's that's more of my wheelhouse. And it was pretty decent. I like brown ales. Uh, I gave it a 3.25. I would probably try this again. And last, which we're going to crack open right now, is Pedigree. Pedigree is an amber ale. Not my most favorite style. Marsterson's Brewery from Burton on Trout. And this is a 4.5%. And they call it a session bitter, but then it says amber on the on the label. Look at that. If you have a if you have a pint glass, you can pour the whole pint. So what am I expecting out of this? <sighs> you know, maybe a little bit of malt, but mostly copper flavor. Uh, that copper flavor is normally what turns me off of these uh, amber style ales. Honestly, it's why I saved it for last, because I wasn't motivated to drink it until now. Definitely has a little bit of the copper flavor, not much. More of a metallic than just the that normal copper penny flavor that you get. This one definitely has a little bit of bitter leather and there's a little malt on the front. I mean, the fact that it's cold and it's hot in my garage at least is something. Um, yeah, I think this is squarely in the, the 2.5 out of 5 category. It's beer. It'll give you a buzz. It's wet. It's not undrinkable, but definitely not my favorite. So, I guess that leads us to some sort of wrap up. Would I buy the classic Ales box for seven bucks again? Honestly, I don't think so. All right, well, let me know down in comments if you ever had any of these beers or the classic Gale box, if you'd like to see me try more of these random Lidl uh, beer selections, it, it seems like they always have some sort of thing imported from a different country and I'll keep picking them up. As always, please drink responsibly, pick up your trash, pack it in, pack it out, and pour one out for Tim.